welcome to Sage's Garage. I am here today at British Car Day and I'm so excited because it's actually my first one and I didn't realize the scale of this event. There are so many incredible cars and I'm so excited for all of the amazing ones we're gonna see today. I had to start off with the Spitfires because as you know, I am restoring my very own Triumph Spitfire, but we are gonna see some amazing cars today and hopefully meet some great people. So let's go. you guys I got a very special shirt made for today's event I don't know if you recognize the logo at all but I thought that was very exciting done to this thing? When did you get it? What's the story? So yeah, this was a uh, whole restoration with my uh, dad over there. Uh, he it was back in 2019. Uh, we pulled it out of uh, out of this friend of a friend's backyard. For oh my free. gosh, was, that's amazing. Yeah, it was a total piece of junk. A couple years and a ton of money later. Yep. <laughs> wow, it's like this. That's amazing. Yeah. New doors. Oh my gosh, new bonnet you were saying? This is from a GT6, I believe? Yes. Awesome. Rebuilt the engine. Wow. How was that? Yeah. I had a little bit more than a British car. I had rebuilt one engine before in my life and it wasn't bad. Okay. okay. So we did it in my garage. Mm -hmm. It's been running great ever since. He does drive it everywhere. It's awesome. He put 15,000 kilometers on it in 15 weeks, two summers ago. <laughs> Good news out of it. It's good. 9,000 wow. miles that year. Yeah. Wow. I painted this in my garage myself. Wow, really? really? Just our little one car garage. Oh my god. So, what was the process Actually, can like? You guys did you guys strip it down to bare metal or how did you? I built the doors. 
so they were bare metal. They were yeah, okay. brand new door skins. Yeah. And, uh, I had to do a lot of work on the bonnet. And a lot of the rest of it had a lot of fixing up to do, a lot of Bondo work. And we deleted the bumpers, so it doesn't have any bumpers. Well, it's, it's funny because Sage is asking yeah, if it's I was asking, like, am I allowed the ones, like, 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 to get rid of the little black bumpers? Like, I, I, you you want to get it through a safety <laughs> check first. The gauges are from Denmark. The guy down in Denmark rebuilds them and paints them the white if you want them. Oh, okay. that's really nice. I really like them. Patrick and I'm a fan of this uh, young lady over here and uh, we, we always hope that people of this age start to look at these cars so that we can at the very least start willing them to some of yes, them. You know? Yes, yeah. well, I'll take anything that anybody's willing to get rid of. Well, see, just, if, see if you like this one here and, oh uh, and, and, and perhaps we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do later. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. Have a running car maybe? It would be amazing. Yeah. All right, I'm going to sign an autograph okay, of course, I don't know where so. I should. Just anywhere, anywhere, anywhere on the white okay. stuff there, that way we can see it. So. There wow. we go! Wow. <laughs> Perfect! Oh, yay! <laughs> the color is a Delft blue, this is an original Swabs. color, okay. and it's actually an illegal paint <laughs> job. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, because it is an acrylic enamel. Oh. Um, so we've got uh, chromoly roll bars here. Wow, these, this is stunning. I bent these and fabricated them. Wow. And then installed them, and they're fully plated on the bottom. Okay. Uh, the seats are out of a 69 TR6. Oh, okay. Uh, they, the top portion of it has been customized. Okay. So, to uh, sort of fit and match the uh, the roll of the uh, of the roll bar. Wow. Uh, 
the tonneau cover is actually, you can notice it's, it's actually quite smooth. Yeah. This is because it's been padded. Okay. Um, yeah. So nice. I brought it somewhere and I had it padded so that when it fits on, it fits really nice. You know, it looks yeah. Well. Exactly. Okay, nice. Momo steering wheel, this set of a 350 GT Ferrari. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> yeah. amazing. Yeah. So the dash has been completely refurbed. Uh, yeah. Wiring harnesses have been completely redone front and back. Wow. Uh, frame has been reinforced on this car. Oh, wow. The wheels are 16 inch, not 15 inch. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. Uh, let's, let's go to the engine. Yeah. So the engine, this has got, uh, it's a three Weber setup with a stage two cam. Okay. Uh, hardened valves. Uh, it's got roller rockers. Okay. Uh, once again, the uh, the headers are stainless steels from Rimmer Brothers. Okay, awesome. Uh, the wires are bigger wires than normal. These are primarily for a V8, not a V, not a six. Oh, okay. Uh, it's got Pertronics ignition. It's got an MSD as well, which is a multiple sparks uh, distributor. Okay, wow. So if it, basically, if a car is firing. And, you, and to draw an analogy, when a car's firing, it'll sound like a pum, 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 pum. Okay. This is a machine gun. Okay, mm -hmm. wow, so it's you know, intense. So it really fires a lot. Wow. Uh, electric yeah. fan. Yeah. Okay, nice. Uh, aluminium uh, rad and aluminium uh, shroud. This is a 74 as opposed to 24 amp alternator. Wow. And once again, the coil you can see is an MSD coil. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Looks amazing. It's like so stunning. I love it. I can't wait till my car has an engine in it. <laughs> That'll be an exciting well, moment. Uh, the way you're going, don't worry. You're going to have an engine real soon. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Um, I knew nothing about this engine, and I just yeah. So now, did you did you swap out these cars, or this the original the original car? Okay. Yeah. But I, I had when I when I got it, it had the wrong distributor in it, and then wow. and so I finally got it running. And when as soon as I got it running, yeah, the water pump started leaking. So oh my god! So that was like take the water pump out, and I go. I'm working on the front end. I'm going to change the tensioner bearings and the tensioner and all that, and. May as well put a new radiator in it. Right? Might as well, yeah, and then it gets. <laughs> things just snowball, right? So. Of course. But, uh, wow. Then I had carburetor trouble, so. This is a uh, Triumph Stag. Yeah. I've had one since. When did I get my first one? Uh, 91. Always a Stag? Yeah, I've, I've still got my original one. Wow. Yeah. This one, a friend of ours had rebuilt it. Another friend bought it and then it developed an engine noise oh. that he didn't like. So yeah. the idea was we're going to tear the engine out, rebuild it, and sell yeah. it on. And we did that, but then I ended up loving it. I yeah. like the color. I didn't think I was going to like the, the color. color. It's very, very fun. Cool, actually. Yeah. And every day I like it more. Yeah. I and really it drives like it. fantastic. It's one of the best really? driving stags I've been in. That's really. awesome. And it's just, it's a treasure to drive, so I end up keeping it. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So these guys are great though on the highway, right? Because oh, this is this is a touring car, it's not a sport yeah. car. So yeah. you can cruise all day long. It's a V8, yeah. wow. a lot of torque. Uh, it's just a comfortable drive. That's awesome. Yeah. So this engine we rebuilt. It's a little bit more complicated than your computer. But not that much different, really. Yeah. yeah. So, wow. so same carburetors, basically, right? Just yeah, I just... Yep. Wow.
I'm here with Dave Sims and we are at British Car Day and I wanted to chat with him a little bit about it today. So first, tell us who you are. Hi, I'm, I'm Dave Sims. I'm with British Car Day. I'm the chairman of British Car Day. I've been doing it now for about 10 years. Yes. And I'm president of the Toronto Triumph Club about nine years. Okay. So I'm getting very long in the tooth here. Um, British Car Day is an amazing event. It's been going on for 38 years now. And uh, we typically get about a thousand British cars here. It's the biggest, biggest one day British car show in North America. Wow. And uh, we are very proud of what we do. It's run by volunteers and we have over 100 volunteers to make this happen. So that's why we're here today. That's amazing. You answered so many of my questions just in that, so that's amazing. But since you're running British Car Day, do you have any British cars? I would love to hear about them. Okay, of course I do. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say yes. that. I have a 1968 Triumph TR250. Okay, amazing. Which is, uh, I love it. And it's not here today because I just don't get the chance to, uh, to actually show it. Um, but it's, I've, I've had it now for 11 years. I had wow. a TR5 in Britain before we left. Wow. And so when I got here, I eventually managed to buy a TR250, which is a similar model, it's just North Americanized. Oh, okay, okay. So, so that's why I have that. Uh, earlier this year, we drove around Georgian Bay. Wow. There were uh, 25 Triumphs driving around Georgian Bay, wow. um, including mine. And uh, we all made it. That's amazing. Which was good. 750 I'm miles glad. in the wet. So oh it was my raining. gosh. And, uh, and it's funny because the oldest car was a 1965 TR3A. Oh, wow. We had some Spitfires in it, of course, as well. Nice. The newest car was a TR8, had two TR8s, and both the TR8s broke down. Oh, my gosh. But we fixed them. No big deal. Yeah, we I guess you got going. a lot of people there who can help out. <laughs> That's the beauty of joining the Toronto Triumph Club. So if you were on a run with us yes. and your Spitfire and you broke down, there will be 25 people who know more about your car than you ever will. That's so. amazing. Well, I will definitely be joining the Toronto Triumph well, Club. Should. And yes. as soon as my car is running, I hope to be at every event. Okay. And I'd love to help volunteer next year, set this event up and any other events. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so. So where about you from? Um, I am near Windsor in a small town. So about four, three-ish hours away from here. Okay. But well, I grew up in bad. Toronto. So like I'm okay. back and forth from okay. the city, you know? Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Well, it's great. Amazing. We have some Triumph, uh, Triumph Spitfire our owners out in Norfolk County. Yeah. Got three three guys out there, 19, 20 years old. They, they oh, joined yeah. the club fairly recently. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so they'll be getting, close to me. So we're getting some younger blood in the club, which that's is amazing. good. That's amazing. I'm need... 19, so that's perfect. You're 19? <laughs> yes, I'm 19. Gosh. That's I, amazing. I remember that. I was there once. <laughs> but anyway, so, Wasn't that long ago? No. no. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, yes, any other questions of me? Or? I think that was that was amazing. I really appreciate your time. And You're the show welcome. was incredible today. I hope to be at all the other ones and see you soon with my working yeah. car. Okay, real good. Sage, thank you very much. Thank you so it's much, been Dave. been talking to you. Yes, you as well. Uh car day was an absolute success it was so fun and I got to see so many incredible cars and I also got to add a few to my list of cars that I want in the future it was also really exciting because I got so much inspiration for certain cosmetic things that I want to do to my car which I know I have to get the engine running first but now I have so many ideas of the color, if I want to do paint, or if I want to do a wrap, the interior, all that fun stuff. It was also so amazing meeting all of you. It was such a fun day getting to talk to everybody and getting all of your advice. I really, really appreciated it. I also want to thank Dave Sims again for his lovely interview. I'm so glad I got a chance to talk with him and I cannot wait to be a part of the Toronto Triumph Club. That is the end of today's video, but I will see you guys next week. Bye! Oh,